Now, in this part of the question, we found out that f of x was equal to 1 minus x over x minus 3 from the first part, and we're asked to find f dash of x. In other words, to find the first differential of f of x with respect to x. So, to do this, what we've got is two functions of x being divided by one another. So, what we need to do is use the quotient rule. What is the quotient rule? Well, a quick reminder, but if you're still unfamiliar, you can always go on my website. You've got plenty of examples on the, on the quotient rule. Just look under differentiation, quotient rule, and you should find some tutorials on that. Basically, though, if you've got y equals two functions of x being divided by one another, u over v, then it can be shown that dy by dx is equal to the bottom of the fraction, v, times the differential of the top, du dx, minus the top of the fraction, u, times the differential of the bottom of the fraction, dv by dx, all divided by the bottom of the fraction squared. So if we use that here, u is the 1 minus x, v is the x minus 3. So we start off with the bottom of the fraction times differential of the top. So the bottom of the fraction is x minus 3, and we multiply that by the differential of the top. Differential of 1 is 0, differential of minus x is minus 1. Then we've got minus top of the fraction times differential of the bottom of the fraction. So the top of the fraction, that's 1 minus x, and we times it by the differential of the bottom of the fraction. Differential of x with respect to x is 1, differential of minus 3 is 0. So that's just going to leave us with 1 there. And it's all divided by the bottom of the fraction squared. So we've got x minus 3, which is the bottom of the fraction, and we just square it. Need to tidy this up, so let's expand the bracket here. We've got minus 1 times x minus 3, so that's going to give us minus x plus 3. And here we've just got minus 1 times 1 minus x, so that's going to give us minus 1 plus x. And that's all over x minus 3, all squared. Make sure you don't have this minus leaking over the edge of this division because it will alter the meaning completely. Okay, it'll be minus all of that top otherwise. Okay, let's just clean this up further. Minus x plus x, that goes out to zero. Three take away one is two, so we get two all over x minus three squared. Okay, so that brings us to the end then of this uh, question.
cos theta or the quadrant method.